So <clears throat> we're going to use the system that um, I designed for replacing the VHB or the uh, volume home block on um, <clears throat> a hard drive on the Unix PC. The hard drive happens to be a Seagate ST251 in this case. But we're actually going to implement uh, the system that I designed and put together. <clears throat> so we're going to start with um, Foundation Set Disk 2. Now I'm providing these as part of this uh, video. So Foundation Disk 2 is where we're going to start. And so we're going to hit the hardware reset button. There we go. We are booting from disk 2. Foundation set disk 2. And as would be normal if you were installing a new operating system on the Unix PC. Um, it's asking for disk 3 of 12. Now, the reason we're not going directly to disk 3 of 12 is because the system will not boot from disk 3, but it needs disk 3 in order to um, have an operating system. So it it's basically needs disk 2 and 3 in order to boot well enough to do this particular procedure. So we'll take out Foundation Disk 2 and we're going to put in the special Disk 3 that has been modified by me with uh, the DD command, which is, does not come by default, and certainly not on Disk 3, with the DD command, as well as, in this case, the uh, specialized uh, VH, uh, VHB for the um, uh, Seagate ST251. And here's what that looks like. All right, Disk 3 is in and we're pressing in a key when ready. Okay, now, again, this is very normal for what's supposed to happen at this point. With the, uh, with the foundation disk set uh, on disk 3. But this is where it gets interesting. This is where we diverge from the normal. So instead of saying yes or no here, we're not going to say either one. Instead, on our keyboard, we're going to hit Shift Delete. Right, see it there? We're going to hit shift, hold shift, and then hit delete. Okay? Now I'm going to do this right now so that you can see the screen and see exactly what happens. So here we go. Shift, delete. Now, you see we've got a prompt right there. Basically that has exited the program that is running this install sequence and now we have Unix control. So at this point I should be able to do a directory on the floppy disk and see exactly what we have. And there it is. Now, <clears throat> I am going to be accessing the file, the VHB file, that I created in this directory, VHBS. Now, uh, Unix is case sensitive. So let's enter that directory, cd, vhbs, case sensitive again. And I'm going to verify that I'm here by hitting present working directory. And I am. Now I'm going to say, all right, now that I'm in that directory, what's in that directory? So we're going to do a directory of what's in that directory, a listing. There it is. So this is the VHB file that I created after initializing a Seagate ST251. Now, it's only the first eight blocks, which explains the size. Eight blocks of 512 bytes each. Um, before we started this process, the uh, Seagate ST251 was plugged in. 
I don't think we would have gotten this far if it hasn't, if it wasn't plugged in. Um, we're going to get to that in a little bit. But right now, I'm just going to run the command now that's going to um, copy that over. Now, this disk also has something, as I mentioned, it doesn't have by default from the factory. It has the DD. Not SS, but DD. So we'll do DD input file, BHB, ST251.DD. The output file, this is very important. You don't want to go FP000 because that doesn't exist. RFP. R would stand for the raw device. Not exactly sure what FP stands for in this old version of Unix. Maybe somebody can explain that to me as well. Um, but RFP000, and this is basically full access to the entire hard drive. And so it's going to start basically at the beginning. You know, track zero, sector zero, blah, blah, blah. And so it's going to write this first eight blocks of the VHB over what we have there. Now it should be exactly the same, but I'm just demonstrating how this works. So I'm going to hit enter on this. And I saw the hard drive light. And eight records in, eight records out. That looks successful. Now you might be saying, if you know a Unix PC, hard drive light, what are you talking about? There is no hard drive light on a Unix PC. Yes, that's correct. But uh, I actually have the... Um, I actually have the ST251 over here um, sitting external to the Unix PC so that it's easier for me to swap these out. And this one just happens to be equipped with a um, this one just happens to be equipped with a light there. And there it is. So I'm actually going to run that command again so that we can see all of what's going on here. So we've got the floppy light there, and um, I'm going to do DD. All right, same exact command over again, and uh, watch for the light right there. And we're about ready to hit enter on this. And there it was. Did you see the header hard drive light? So it did hit the hard drive, it did write to that. And so we should just go right into what should happen if we unplug the hard drive and start over again, meaning that the uh, Unix PC cannot read the hard drive. We're going to see what that error looks like and where it happens. So here we go. I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to unplug it right now. I'm just slipping off the, um, I'm going to leave the power on, but I'm going to slip off the, uh, the 20 and 34 pin connectors right here on the back. You probably just can't see those just beyond there, but I did that. So now we're going to start over again. We're going to slip the, um, we're going to slip disk two back in and we're going to hit the hardware reset. All right, disk two is in, we're ready for hardware reset. Oh, you know, I'm going to do something before I do that. I'm going to exit this. I don't know what it does. I didn't do any writing to this. If I did, we'd have to do something special. We'd have to do a special sync. Um, otherwise, the file wouldn't stay. I found that out the hard way. But just to be clean, I like to do that. Okay. Now we're going to hit the hardware light and go. Hardware's, hardware reset switch, which is way here in the back. And here we go. All right, so just like normal, it's wanting disk three, so now we're gonna pop in foundation set disk three, but the special one, the very, very special one, and pressing any key when ready. Aha! All right, so, the previous operation on this floppy disk was incomplete, right? 
Please remove all files and reformat. The floppy disk. So we have the HDERR. Now, I don't know who wrote that, or if that's a Unix thing in this case, but it basically indicates, hey, there's a problem with the hard drive. I can't see the hard drive. Panic, I, and it. Please record this panic message and reset hardware to reset reboot there. Okay, so if your Unix PC cannot see the hard drive, I would expect you to get this particular error at this point, and it's not, you're never going to be able to get to the command prompt in order to do the DD. So uh, let me know what you come up with if you try this yourself. Thank you very much for watching.